Hello everyone. Welcome to UIS. Let's discuss today's prelims topics. Question 1 Consider the following statements about Candida oris recently in news. 1 Candida oris is a species of bacteria that grows as yeast. 2 This can cause invasive candidiasis, fungemia, in which the bloodstream, the central nervous system, and internal organs are infected. 3. Often, candidiasis is acquired in hospitals by patients with weakened immune systems. How many of the above statements are correct? A. Only one. B. Only two. C. All three. D. None. The answer is B. Candida oris, a species of fungus that grows as yeast, is one of the few species of the genus Candida which causes candidiasis in humans. Often, candidiasis is acquired in hospitals by patients with weakened immune systems. First reported in Japan in 2009, C. oris has since spread all over the world. Candida oris is an emerging fungus that presents a serious global health threat concerned about C. oris for three main reasons. It is often multidrug resistant, meaning that it is resistant to multiple antifungal drugs commonly used to treat candida infections. Some strains are resistant to all three available classes of antifungals. It is difficult to identify with standard laboratory methods and it can be misidentified in labs without specific technology. Misidentification may lead to inappropriate management. It has caused outbreaks in healthcare settings. For this reason, it is important to quickly identify C. oris in a hospitalized patient so that healthcare facilities can take special precautions to stop its spread. Question to what is Guillain-Barre syndrome, GBS? 1. The Guillain-Barre syndrome is a rare neurological disorder in which the body's immune system attacks the nerves. 2. It starts with a tingling sensation and weakness in the hands and feet and can quickly spread further, ending up paralyzing the body. 3. The exact cause of the disorder is not yet known. How many of the above statements are correct? A. Only 1 B. Only 2 C. All three. D. None. The answer is C. The Guillain-Barre syndrome is a rare neurological disorder in which the body's immune system attacks the nerves. It starts with a tingling sensation and weakness in the hands and feet and can quickly spread further, ending up paralyzing the body. Most people with this condition need to be hospitalized for the treatment. While the exact cause of the disorder is not yet known, reports suggested that two-thirds of patients saw symptoms of an infection, COVID-19 or gastrointestinal infection or Zika virus, in the six weeks preceding. Symptoms of Guillain-Barre syndrome Tingling sensation in fingers, toes, ankles, wrists, or sometimes even arms and face. Weakness in legs that spreads to the upper body. In some cases, inability to walk or climb stairs. Difficulty with facial movements, speaking, chewing, or swallowing, double vision, or inability to move eyes. Severe pain that may feel achy, shooting, or cramp-like and is likely to get worse at night. Difficulty with bladder control and bowel function, rapid heart rate, low or high blood pressure and difficulty breathing. The most severe cases are likely to end up in paralysis. The Guillain-Barre syndrome has three forms, acute inflammatory demyelinating polyradiculoneuropathy, AIDP, Miller-Fisher syndrome, and acute motor axonal neuropathy. Question 3. Consider the following statements about Lambani. 1. AM nomadic community inhabiting Kerala. To the Lambani embroidery is an intricate form of textile embellishment characterized by colorful threads, mirror work, and stitch patterns practiced in several villages of state. 3. The Lambani craft tradition involves stitching together small pieces of discarded fabric to create a beautiful fabric. 
How many of the above statements are correct? A. Only one. B. Only two. C. All three. D. None. The answer is B. A nomadic community inhabiting Karnataka. The Lambani craft tradition involves stitching together small pieces of discarded fabric to create a beautiful fabric. The sustainable practice of patchwork is seen in many textile traditions of India and around the world. The embroidery traditions of the Lambanese are shared in terms of technique and aesthetics with textile traditions across Eastern Europe, West and Central Asia. Question 4. Consider the following statements about Mukurthi National Park. 1. The park was created to protect its keystone species, the Asian elephant. 2. Located in the northwest corner of Tamil Nadu state in the eastern Ghats mountain range. 3. The park is a part of Nigiri Biosphere Reserve, India's first international biosphere reserve. How many of the above statements are correct? A. Only one. B. Only two. C. All three. D. None. The answer is A. The park was created to protect its keystone species, the Nilgiri Teher. Located in the northwest corner of Tamil Nadu state in the Western Ghats mountain range. Question 5 with reference to shelf clouds, consider the following statements. 1. Also known as Arcus clouds. 2. They are often associated with powerful storm systems and many times they are reported as wall clouds, funnel clouds or rotation. 3. These clouds are sometimes seen beneath cumulonimbus clouds, the dense, towering vertical cloud that cause intense rain. How many of the above statements are correct? A. Only 1 B. Only 2 C. All 3 D. None The answer is C. When a cold downdraft from a cumulonimbus cloud reaches the ground, the cold air may spread rapidly along the ground, pushing existing warm moist air upwards. As this air rises, water vapor condenses into the patterns associated with shelf clouds. The new cloud may roll if it experiences different wind directions above and below. Question 6. Which state cabinet had recently approved a proposal to recommend the inclusion of the Kui language in the 8th schedule of the Constitution of India? A. Odisha B. Madhya Pradesh C. Jharkhand D. Chhattisgarh The answer is A. Question 7. Consider the following statements about brucellosis. 1. Brucellosis is a viral infection that spreads from animals to people. 2. It is also known as undulant fever, maltha fever and Mediterranean fever. 3. Most commonly, people are infected by eating raw or unpasteurized dairy products. How many of the above statements are correct? A. Only one. B. Only two. C. All three. D. None. The answer is B. Brucellosis is a bacterial infection that spreads from animals to people. The bacteria causing this disease, brucella, are small, gram-negative, non-motile, non-spore-forming, rod-shaped, coccobacilli, bacteria. They function as facultative intracellular parasites, causing chronic disease, which usually persists for life. Question 8. Consider the following statements about Project 75, India, also known as P-75-I. 1. It is a military acquisition initiative by the Ministry of Defence, MOD. 2. The initiative aims to procure diesel-electric attack submarines with fuel cells and air-independent propulsion system, AIP, for the Indian Navy to build India's naval strength and develop indigenous submarine building capabilities. 3. Project 75I is a follow-up to Project 75 and improves upon the design and technology of its predecessor. How many of the above statements are correct? A. Only one. B. Only two. C. All three. D. None. The answer is C. 
the conventional diesel electric submarines such as the Scorpion under Project 75 come with improved stealth features such as advanced acoustic absorption techniques, low radiated noise levels, long-range guided torpedoes, tube-launched anti-ship missiles, sonars and sensor suites. However, as electrical batteries power them, they need to surface every 48 hours to be recharged. The AIP technology will improve on this in Project 75i building six submarines that can stay submerged for up to two weeks. These submarines may even be larger in size compared to the ones under Project 75. Thank you everyone. Do subscribe to this channel. Use code SPLIVE to join. Unacademy.